Hello, lovely fish farmers community of Ghana. It is amazing to have you with us. In today's episode, we are going to share with you the processes involved in being able to have a processing facility like this. We shared a video with you some few weeks ago telling you how this thing looks like and how it works. Now, in this video, we had a lot of people reaching out to us and asking us, you want to see the processes, the amount, and whatever thing that goes that went into building this particular place. So, in today's video, we are going to show you step by step from the construction of the facility to the ovens and everything that we have in there so that you can also repeat the same thing in your farm. So what we did was we decided to dig the ground for the foundation, get the concrete ready, get the concrete into the, the dark holes. And then what we did was we allowed it to dry for some time. got block works ready we decided to work around four cores and then we built the four cores we realized it was a little bit down so we'll top it up later on but then we smoothing the ground and then we got an, another concrete for the ground make sure that the ground was also quite smooth enough with some concrete works in there And then we got some pillars. So we had the four metal pillars. But yeah, you can see that raw materials were ready to site. So this is for the oven. This is what the fishes are going to be on. You can see the carpenters also working simultaneously. And then he's taking out the fat collector that will be taking all the fat for our fish. And this fat will be used for other things later on in our farm. Now you see that they are unpacking the bricks as well, which we'll use to build the oven. Over here, he's soaking the clay that we'll be using for the oven construction. And so you allow it to soak for some time. And whilst it is soaking, he's going to also try to yeah, do some measurements. So taking measurements, making sure the foundation and everything is clear. So he's taking the bricks closer to where the oven is going to be constructed. And then whilst he's doing this, as I said, the carpenters are also trying to make sure the other things are also around because I wanted to be able to finish this work in seven days. And so as at this time, we're on the third day. So he tries as much as possible to make sure that the clay is smooth enough so he takes away all the chaff they yeah, are looking for a uniform mixture over here so what you see in the blue bag is some wood ash you can see the demarcations so he places some wood ash into the mixture which is going to help the clay to be able to withstand a lot of heat and then also it is going to make sure that the clay is not going to get cracks. So he also mix it up, make sure that it is uniform enough. And then the next thing to do is get ready and start laying off the bricks for the oven. So he will be doing the measurements and then breaking them where need be. 
get them ready it is small hammer so that it doesn't break them at all because the bricks could easily crack and you lay them very nicely so if that brick is giving him a problem he gets another one quickly We need accurate measurements over here so he cannot mess it up and he's an expert in this field and so he knows exactly what he's doing so whilst he's also going on with his work simultaneously you have the carpenters also making sure the framework is also being done because uh, we're working with some time I needed it to be done as fast as possible for me. So you can see that he's still trying as much as possible to work as fast as possible and the capitals are also trying to be fast about it because I give them automatum I was on their neck. So this is where you are going to fan from and then this is the chambers where you are going to have your wood entering into the oven and because it breaks it's going to withstand a lot of heat So now that this is dry, the next day what happens is the masons would come in and then build the body for the oven. So now he's trying to fix the fat collector with a bit of some slope into the system and What he's going to do is he's trying to fix the outlet so that we can be able to collect the oil because this oil can also be used for fertilizer. And then you can see the framework is still being done and then now they try as much as possible to um, smoothen the place whilst the carpenters are making sure that there's netting, there is mesh and there's roofing. Now what I did was I just decided to get some guys to also tow the inside of the place. We were working with time and so they needed to be fast about it. So you can see the oven being built very nicely and smooth. If I had enough money I could tell the oven as well, but it wasn't really necessary. You can see they are still making sure the netting, and then the netting I made them double it so that it won't easily get broken so after that now everything is set i try i test the oven make sure it is working as efficient as i'm expecting it to be so um, as i tried it now
you can see there is a metal over there and that is where i'm going to put my wood and then this chamber which is a secondary chamber this is where i can get some of the air coming into the system so if i want any air into the system in and out it can come out from this place but the fanning of the system is done at the other end and so you can see that i have tried testing the oven what i did was i took some of the wood ash from my system and then i smeared it with a bit of some water onto the oven to absorb a lot of the oil i'm looking out for so that i can easily use it for the fertilizer and other things i want to So you can see these things are just stacks and so you can one force on the other one force on the other and so you can pack your fishes in line properly without any challenge now when you come here what you can just see is that now the top side is what covers and retains a lot of the heat in the entire system and so if the heat is being retained and you want to do any checks in your system when you look at how it works this one you don't need to turn your fishes you just need to allow the fishes you arrange the top to the bottom if you want to check anything just check through from where i just touched to be able to see what's happening in there so you want to check how your fish is looking and all of that you can just open that place and then you can do the checks and this is a very very efficient system which has been designed and so we just decided to adopt it So now that's now I have my oven with me and everything. What I do on a regular is I just preheat the oven for a little while. Where I'm fanning is not supposed to be where I'm supposed to fan over there. But because of time and I was in a hurry, I decided to just fan that place. And then quickly production is in place. Now you can see that I have arranged a, quite a number of fishes over here. And then the next set of fishes will just come on top. The next set of fishes will come on top. And then you cover it. So in three days, I can smoke about 700 fishes in just three days so in a week you're looking at smoking at least a thousand two hundred two thousand four hundred fishes so this is the outdoor oven it cost me five thousand Ghana cities to build this oven in october 2021 and i am very very satisfied with its performance as you can see this is how the processing facility was established you can do the same thing using your own timeline you can do it within a short time you can do it within a longer period for those of you who would like to still have other information with respect to how this thing has been established, you can still reach out to me and then we'll be able to find something good to do for you. Also, a lot of you guys have been watching and our channel and you've been asking us to organize something. So in the end of July, we are trying to organize a workshop so that all of us lovely fish farmers can just come together, discuss markets, discuss various things and learn together. Also, I would like to entreat you to continue liking and sharing and subscribing to our channel because a lot of you are not subscribing and it's so painful. So please subscribe and let's go. See you in our next video. Bye.